welcome to this next chapter where we will go further down and as you can see I still think there's something there let's try and go south watch your step whoops I forgot to damned well we must go back Dropping. The cat. The despicable. The despicable. Nimbly, you. You manage to. It is an oval mirror of Are you so vain? You probably think this game is about you, don't you? Don't you? Mirror, mirror, oval vanity, make my master lose his sanity. He appears if I am slack, angry, mean, in cloaks of black, and orders me to do his bidding. I want out. You must be kidding. Strangely enough, in the close-up... You take the wizard's hand mirror. Mm, you have another... ...the color in the clothes. You've done on your... You search the pockets of the black cloak. Suddenly yes. you discover a small brass key. What could it unlock? You search behind the clothes hanging in the wizard's closet. You're startled to discover an ancient parchment scroll. Its ink has faded, but it seems to be a map. Taking this treasure, you leave everything else exactly as it was. You've never wanted to smell like a rose, but... There, we got it. It isn't much backtracking. You must remember to save a lot often. I hate this fact that we have to take a lot of these things which we already had and in the previous chapter. But then again, that's too hard. You pick up the chicken. You gently pluck a feather from the chicken and gently set it back on the ground. Where would you put it? Now we know that we... And if we go directly down, then we will not. So, we will have to do it this way. I still think we go a little too slow sometimes. So, maybe it's best to speed things up a little. And then we're down from the mountains. Now it took a little longer than it normally would have due to my lack of the true of saving at the correct moment. But thanks for now. <laughs>